guys and welcome back to my channel. Earlier this year, I finally completed my goal of traveling to every country in the world. And to celebrate, I went back to the heart of Africa to see one of the most insane natural phenomena on planet Earth. I travel to get out of my comfort zone and to see places that most people are afraid of going in order to gain a new perspective on the world. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this, but for now, let's go back to the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Some of you may only know about the DRC from the stories you've heard on the news about Ebola outbreak and civil war. All of these issues are very real, but I'm here to show you that that is only one side of the DRC and there is so much more beauty here than what you've heard. After seeing this crazy photo on Instagram, I made it my mission to see it for myself. After months of planning, I am traveling to the oldest national park in Africa, which is home to these incredible mountain gorillas, and also one of the most epic and arguably one of the most dangerous volcanoes on the planet. So we just got through immigration. We had to go through two Ebola checks. Made it through. Everything's been very smooth all the way from the Rwandan border to the border of DRC. Everyone is so friendly. It's beautiful. There's a huge lake right here. And now we're going to go drive to our uh, tented camp for the night. I have no idea where we're going or what we're doing from here. But we got the visas and couldn't be happier. So I would say welcome in DRC Congo. Here where we are, we are in Goma town. And Goma is a big city with about 2 million of people living here around the town. We just got to the lodge, I guess. This is what it looks like. see it because it's just buried by big clouds but it's right there whoa <laughs> I can't believe we're gonna be on the top of that tomorrow night wow oh looks like looks like we're almost to the lodge now woke up today is the day we are getting out of here to climb the mountain I'm definitely still nervous but super excited oh, I'm so happy to wake up to such a beautiful view it's gonna be an epic day back into the 4x4 and we have about a 30 minute drive to the starting point of the trek up the volcano see the top of the volcano right there here we have a scale, so green means the volcano is normal, two is active, three they evacuate the hospitals and they evacuate all of Goma. So right now we're just on active, this is normal, I can't believe we're finally here. That's the starting point right there, <laughs> what a crazy place. And it's time to go. We are still in the beginning where the trail is still covered by jungle. Apparently, we'll be breaking out of that within the next hour. It's going to try not to get eaten alive by mosquitoes. We just got to the point in the hike where we're walking on on lava or lava rocks now. 
Can you tell me a bit about what happened in 2002? So in 2002 what happened, at that time I was about 10 years old, 16th January 2002. So for that time the lava erupted from the side of the volcano and the lava was a bit very very slow. On the second day the lava exploded just closer to the airport. To the airport in Goma? Closer to So if you can see this map here, you can see there is another one, explosion. Okay, yeah. So this one is the biggest one. Wow. Yeah. So and we are, we're here? We are here, here, on this path here. Okay. So, so when we reach this point here... That second explosion yes. was like the very devastating yes. one. And from here the lava was uh, very fast. 40 km per hour up to the lake. Oh my so God. the lava went up to the lake, pushed the lake, and created a new land. Wow. So according to the history, they used to say that Goma was created by the different eruption. They estimated about 2,000 people who have been recognized. The family recognized that they lost their members during the eruption. Wow. Yeah. That's so horrible. Yes. flowers all around and this is one of the first spots that we've had a really clear view of the goal <sighs> feels like we've been hiking for some time now and we still have quite a ways to go environment just changed again. Now we're in a big open space and you can see the top. Honestly, struggling with my fear of heights a bit right now. Like looking back in that direction is like surprisingly disorienting. So curious to see how that's gonna go for the rest of the trip. They definitely saved the hardest part for last. I'm a, uh, oh wow, the sun just came out right there, just as we're hitting the summit. This part, really? That wasn't even, that wasn't even staged. We're just making it up to the camps right now. Haven't laid my eyes on it until this very moment. Whoa, this is weird. Tour. This baby right here. Oh, nice. Oh, this will do the job. The most amazing travel essential ever. Wet wipes. Oh yeah. Okay. Sorry, guys. Oh, it looks so great. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. Rice, sausage. It's like a paella, mm, but carrots. Bell pepper. You got any soy sauce? Egg plate. Omelette. Yum. Beautiful. Like that. Yum. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. That's so one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. This one. I told you that this one would be a lifetime. You were right.
just got into the sleeping bag. I don't know if you can see my breath, but it is so cold here right now, but the views have been unbelievable. I've seriously never seen anything like this place and I've been having to pinch myself telling myself that it's actually real because it's one of those experiences that like feel like something you'll only experience once in your life as you're living it. So I've been trying to just absorb every moment and capture it the best I can and I'm just so grateful to be here and that there's so many amazing people here. The locals have been so enthusiastic and friendly and I felt so safe here. I just can't believe where I am right now. I'm literally in a freaking hut on the side of a volcano in the middle of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. It's such, ama such an amazing experience. But it's time for me to go to bed, so. Good night, everybody. Mwah. Mm, okay, so I just woke up. It's like five o'clock in the morning. Ugh, the cold was no joke last night. I was so cold until I put an extra pair of socks on, really thick wool socks, and I was able to fall asleep. But Oh boy, I'm not kidding. This altitude's kind of weird too. I had to take my sports bra off because it was getting kind of hard to breathe. Whew, but, mm. it's time to get out, get out of this little, little shed and see what's going on outside. concludes our time at the top of the crater. We're heading down now from the from the top. Morale is very high. Everyone is so happy right now. And we got this incredible view the whole way down. Woo! What a trip! We finally made it to the bottom. It's like a 10 mile round trip, took a really long time though. Wow, that was an unbelievable experience. Woo! I hope you guys enjoyed my first ever travel vlog. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments and I will catch you next Sunday for another epic adventure.